The class of 2012 is crazy, but in a good way. The class of 2012 is probably one of the strongest senior classes that I've ever encountered. The class of 2012 is probably one of the most talented classes the Phoenix 14 has ever had. The class of 2012 has been a huge help to me since day one. Hello everyone. As you could tell by now, there is no senior video this year. We have 12 very special seniors who taught us not only to be better journalists, but better people. So that's why we got rid of the senior video. No five minute video could ever show how much they mean to us. So for the first year ever, we are doing a senior tribute episode. Seniors, this is for you. Hey Elon, you've got sports and I'm Jackie Adams. If not for Jackie, I would not, I, I might not have continued in Phoenix 14 or I would, may have not, you know, gotten nearly as many skills as I do. Planning can last at least a year before construction even begins on a new facility like the new Colonnades Residence Hall. It lets me sit and watch, help produce and kind of learn, try to figure out what I'm doing. And I, I really appreciate her help and kind of guidance and saying, you know, here's what you need to do and this doesn't belong in a show at all. It's not just their birthday wishes they want to come true. <sighs> They also hope their presidential wishes come true too. I love video producing when Jackie was producing because she'd always have everything together. She knew what she wanted. When you go to an outlet store, you expect to find low prices and this fabric outlet isn't any different. She's so good about keeping her calm in high stress situations, which is really great to work with. And Scott has found a special way to thank them. He carries them onto the field with him every game. When you're listening to her talk to you in your IFB, it's always, hey guys, great job, keep it up, you're doing awesome. It's probably one of the most organized people I know, and she's so on top of all the reporters. She knows what's going on, she knows what content she's gonna do. She's really big on getting a team effort all together. Before the runners cross the finish line. Sam, well, I basically do Phoenix 14 because of Sam Baranowski. Here in London, we're told there's a security increase in areas like Trafalgar Square and Buckingham Palace. When Sam Baranowski walks into a room, she commands it, and there's something about her that just makes you trust her. I caught up with a local tree lot where I tried to learn everything about the evergreen. She is tenacious when it comes to looking for stories. She never gives up. With a YouTube video, I could play you a song I wrote, teach you a card game, I might even take you on a tour of my favorite place. Let's go. Sam Baranowski is a news hound. And you know, she's the type of person who, if she found out something's going wrong, she's gonna make sure we know about it. Even students like Blair have reported symptoms since the school year started, but the health center has only found 10 cases that were type A. She had such a great presence on our show. She helped our show do great things and definitely has set a bar for the rest of reporters on our staff. I mean, pieces that she did last year, and I would look at them and one day hope that I would be that good. For now, Frank is just focused on finding his way into his fans' lives. Sam Baranowski, Phoenix 14 News Tonight. And he just walked in the room and everyone was like, oh my god, who's that? Wow. He's such a, he's a force of leadership and a force of confidence in our organization. Max is phenomenal at his job, and I don't know what we're going to do without him next year. He's the director, always keeps cool under pressure, and you know, is constantly being the leader, stepping up and fixing things. I don't know how we're going to survive without Mr. Fix-It. From day one, he was like, "If you whatever you want to learn, I'll help teach you. I, I can stay after, I can come before. I love watching him direct just because it's so smooth. He just comes in, he can look at the rundown, and he knows exactly what to do. If there's a button that needs to be pushed, Max will push it, and then he'll make sure you know to push it next time. Max is absolutely um, a key person to making Phoenix 14 fun. Like in the control room, if something's out of chaos, you can just look at Max and know that he has everything under control, even though when everything else in the room is in quite chaos and falling apart, Don is, uh, he's just everything that's Phoenix 14. I mean, he's good at everything that he does, but not only that, he's so unbelievably helpful. Headphones can prevent us from concentrating on the task at hand, whether that be concentrating on the road or just trying to cross it. He is the sense of calm at Phoenix 14. 
like things get really high stress on Mondays and you just look at Don and he's just like happy as a clam. Here on campus, student bikers don't seem to care that much about wider roads. He's just always there. He will do anything for being 14. We will yell, we need a sock, and he will drive to Greensboro and get it. He will do any store you give him, and all this while juggling being executive producer of eTalk, he can just, he seems like he can do everything. Here at Cummings High School, the girls got to look at over a hundred different dresses that were donated by the Elon community. It's happy to help the freshmen, and is a large part of why. I'm still with Phoenix 14. You might think that slacklining looks easy, but it's not. It's really hard. It takes a lot of energy, balance, patience, and hope that you don't fall. When the starting lineups are called out, the Elon players are waiting here on the bench. Hodges is just, like I said, the life and soul of Phoenix 14. Mark Mercer is facing 29 charges of statutory rape and other offenses in Forsyth County a go-getter. I really admire him for that. Um, but maybe most importantly, it's school supplies for children. David is determined, he's great, and even though he's a last minute kind of guy, he is going to succeed because he does some awesome work. These masks scare people all around the world. And I was so impressed by, he always took the hard stories and he always found a really unique angle to do them. But they're definitely not scary, like they can be from this side of the steel cage. It's really nice to see somebody who's so invested in and excited in what, you know, what he does and what other people are doing. With the candidate speeches over, we now move on to the presidential debate. While future farmers were learning their trade, local visitors were finding out how their food is made, and the customers we talked to liked it. It's tough to find a better role model than David Hodges. <sighs> And it's absolutely important for students to pay attention, to, to know what's going on. She does everything with a smile, and yeah, there are hard days, and yeah, angry stuff sometimes, but last year, every day, just calm and collected. Behind all the lights and makeup, Casey's piece tells a story. A story that may not be known to all, but holds a deep place in her heart. Mallory Lane is an amazing reporter. She was the first person I ever shadowed with for Phoenix 14. And I remember we couldn't figure out how to hook up the mic. So it was really kind of fun and interesting. But today, his life is a lot different. Love her voice, her broadcast voice. The students of Hook Residence Hall have been waiting to get the all clear to move back into their rooms after physical plant found mold growing in their building. She is so dedicated. She will come in and she would anchor a show and she'd do a package. She taught me really what anchors were supposed to look like. Hello and thanks for logging on for your Thursday update. I'm Mallory Lane. She just has the perfect look and voice for someone entering this industry. This is the courthouse Judge Albright calls his home. He spent his career here and now that he's retired, he's found a new home. That's right, there are 26 blue lights just like this one located across campus for student safety. Laura is the prime example of someone who can lead an organization. Since 2004, they have received more than 2 million cell phone donations. I think she's a great leader because she knows what she wants and she knows how to communicate that well. Make sure you have one of your neighbors pick up your mail. These tips are especially important over spring break when your house is more vulnerable. She knows how to get things done and she knows what she wants. Joey Donendo is depending on what he learned at Elon to help during his deployment to Afghanistan. When I first saw her when I came to Elon and we went to the Phoenix 14 meeting, I thought, wow, you really care about this. And it rubs off on everybody here, I think. She's just so dedicated to this show and wants it to be the best that it can be, and I think that's real. Hey, Phoenix fans. I'm Laura Levitt, bringing you the first sports update of the year. She, I, look, I look up to Laura. She really is a role model. She's done some great things for this show. There's a couple simple things you can do to make sure your house is safe when you're away. The first is unplugging any outlets in case there's a power surge. Whenever I see him, it's always with a smile, and he always so wants 2nd. to help people. Tax day occurs on the 18th of this year instead of the 15th, a Washington, D.C. holiday. This gives Beta Alpha Psi a chance to help students for a few extra days. Last semester, it was announced that 
Pandora's Pod will be, will have a new spot in the Elon's house. He probably is, has one of the most creative stand-ups of anyone. After you hear a knock on the door, you answer it, and two people are telling you that they are a part of a competition and that they're selling magazines around the area. Brandon is such a sweet person and such has such a good spirit. He's very eager to get engaged, something the committee wants all of its students to show. He's very team-oriented, so he always makes every single uh, person in the organi organization feel loved and welcome. There's even video games and live entertainment throughout the event to keep students moving, which is what Sereni loves. Always dressed to a T. We always think he's going live or doing something, but he always just looks great. And trust me, this is not as easy as it looks. All this walking should be left to the professionals. Brandon Marshall, Phoenix 14 News, tonight. Thanks, Jasmine. Elon students have busy schedules, so sometimes good food comes low on the to-do list. I looked into how Elon students can stay healthy while staying on campus. Oh, sweet, tender Sophie. Oh, who doesn't love Sophie? Rue parked her car in one of these spaces and a red truck pulled in next to her. She knows what she's doing. She's good at what she does. And not only that, but she's so, so helpful. That's right, guys. North Carolina has lost more than a quarter of a million jobs since September of 2007. She's always there to help. I auditioned Anchor. She sat me down when I asked her to and just told me exactly what I needed to do. Japan was hit with an 8.9 earthquake last Friday. Every time you watch her story, you just want to keep watching. She's, Most things are under $100. She's always That's smiling. Which is only 25. The decision not to grant Pelican tenure has sparked outcries from students, but also from professors. I've asked her so many times, Sophie, can you help me? I can't figure out a lead. Sophie, I'm not sure how to write this story. Or Sophie, I'm not that good at features. Do you have anything that you can help me with or any tips? And she's always willing to help with a happy smile and great attitude. Even though there are plenty of fruits and vegetables at the market, the manager says that not all of them will stay on the shelves. Upperclassmen might remember this location of Smitty's on South Church Street, but just because the windows are dark doesn't mean business is bad. And she's sort of a role model that a lot of people uh, look up to and should look up to. When thinking about drinking and driving, you shouldn't just think about being caught by the police. And she just came back, you know, just fighting, just wanting to be involved, and she got it, and she was great at it, and there is no one, you can't compare Katie O'Brien to anyone. For this Halloween, you don't have to be scared, because at Spooky Woods, you fight back. She is what I feel like everyone should try to be, that's a team player. The CDC recently amended their recommendation of the HPV vaccine. I remember before I even knew who Katie was, I saw one of her stories and there was this amazing graphic and I was like, oh my God, that's so good. Workplace success can be predicted by measuring the traits of openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeability, and neuroticism, otherwise known as OSHIP. She's my calm big, she says. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. Jack, be quick. Jack Flash sat on a candlestick. I'm Katie O'Brien. Coming up, college students running for a cause and getting a little messy doing it. Grace brings the fun to Phoenix 14. Just make sure that you have a casual smile when you jump on it. Just very like she's very honest and she's very upfront and she'll tell you when something is bad and I, I think that's really important. Today was overcast at the beginning, high of 55, but then we got some sun out in the afternoon, which was great. 44% of Americans make resolutions each year, but after only one month, 36% of those people ditch them. Her sense of style is always on point um, and she always knows how to make the mood lighter. The next stop on my food crawl was Acorn, which is open until 1 a.m. She's also awesome fashionista. In honor of British traditions, I thought it was only natural to wear a hat of my own to talk about the wedding. But at the end of the day, she knows she has those news values as well and she really could do anything she sets her mind to. A family of four has an average of a $69 budget for a week's worth of food. So we shopped around to see how much food you can get. With a new owner, Holly Hill Mall is bringing in some new shoppers with some new stores. Monica Antosh, she knows what she wants and she demands it. 
Drew, the Alamance County Health Department held its second H1N1 vaccine clinic on Friday. You can see that she's so, uh, you know, sort of adamant about all of it um, in, in how excited she is to, you know, help other people with producing or show people how these things are done. Both the wine bar and the wine store are hoping students leave saying, you had me at Merlot. She's like a ball of fire. She's a ball of energy. You know she cares about the show. Meet Sarge. She looks like your average dog, but she's more than just a pet. She is so much fun to be around, and she also is an excellent leader. I went and saw how one man is hoping to bring holiday cheer to soldiers everywhere. I, I love her energy, and she's always in the office with something going on, and is, is so energetic. Unlike the other bars here at Elon, the Fat Frog offers arcade games like pinball, and she puts every puts her heart and soul into everything that she does, and that's that's amazing. From Dublin, Monica Yantosh, Phoenix 14 News Tonight. You know, our new show is going to miss all those folks, but here in my office, I'm finally going to get my office back. So many of these people have spent so much time in my office that I think they have a spare key to the place and uh, probably a place to sleep. And I think they hit a bar someplace in here, and I keep looking for that. Can you please tell me where that is? If any of you guys who are graduating know where that is, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it, was a, it was a lot of time in this office. Uh, oops, there's one of them right now, I think. Uh, they're always uh, emailing, and you know what? I'm going to miss that. I'm re They'll actually really be sorely missed. This class has been a terrific class of, of students.